Hey guys, how's it going? So it's been a while <laughs> since I posted a video, so sorry to all the subscribers of the channel. Um, I just have been busy, basically, just not had the time to uh, upload any content for, for quite some time. Um, just been busy kind of supporting our, our clients at thrivewp.com and, you know, just not found the time to sit down properly and uh, record some stuff. Um, so now I've got a bit, bit of a better setup, so it's uh, a little bit cleaner. Um, you know, not on the scale of other YouTubers, but hey, um, you know, I'm I'm not necessarily interested in that. I'm just interested in providing videos that that you know are helpful to people. So. Yeah, so without further ado, what I'm going to look at today is, uh, it was kind of a video I wanted to do a while ago, which was a follow-on to the, the one we did about uh, getting access to your admin when you've lost your password or you can't log in. And the last video we did was about gaining access through the database. Um, so the, what the video I'm going to do today and what I'm going to show you today is how you can gain access to your admin of WordPress through FTP, which is a, uh, stands for File Transfer Protocol or Program, I didn't, I, one or the other. <laughs> um, but essentially, it's through your WordPress files rather than your database. Um, and in, in a way, it's kind of easier uh, than the database option. Um, so, yeah, we'll take a look at that now. <laughs> said um, you know for whatever reason you may be in a situation where you're not able to access your dashboard um, that might be that uh, you've uh, forgotten your password but you also can't reset your password because maybe your WordPress install isn't sending the email to you or maybe you don't have access to the email that you used originally when you, you created your account um, there's various different reasons why you might not be able to log into your admin. Um, but as long as you're the site owner and you have access to the files of your website, um, usually you know stored in your hosting somewhere, then you're able to kind of fix that, essentially. Um, so that's what I'm going to show you today. We've already done a post on it um, on the blog, uh, which is here. Uh, this is called How to Use FTP to Create a New Admin User in WordPress. Um, and so you can have a read through this, but obviously you can follow the video, it, may, it might be easier for you. So what you need to do basically is you need to add this bit of code to your functions PHP file. And that file is stored within your WordPress files, like I said. Now, how you access your WordPress files um, will depend on you and your setup. Some people will access their website files through something like cPanel and then use the file explorer included in there. Some people use an FTP program like uh, FileZilla, which is what I use most of the time. Um, so yeah, you can do that. But whichever way you access your files, um, essentially, you know, you'll you'll find the same kind of set of files generally. Um, so. When you first log in, you go to your, your install of WordPress files, you'll have a, a WP admin folder, a WP content folder, WP includes, and then lots of other files and stuff as well. So what you want to do is you want to find your theme folder, essentially. So you've got to go to WP content first, then you've got to go to themes, and then you need to go into the theme that you're actually using that's active on your website. So you might have a few listed, um, but you need to go into the one that you're actually using. <laughs> Okay, so you'd go into that, and then what you'd do is you would then edit that functions file, okay, and then you would paste that code in that I showed you earlier. That is not it. <laughs> so let's just copy that again. So you'd paste your code in, okay, and then really important, you need to set a username and a password, a strong password, and your email address, okay. Um, 
It's really important that you do that because obviously anybody can guess username and password as your username and password and they'll log into your site and cause all sorts of problems. So make sure you change the username, the password and the email address before saving your file. For this demo I'm not going to, um, but like I said you should. And um, don't try using these to get into the site because it will be deleted before this video even is published. <laughs> so yeah. So we've uploaded those, we've saved the changes. So basically that now has added that user to our website. So if I open our website in an uh, incognito window and then we go to the admin, okay, I can then put in username and password and login. Okay, then that's it, we're in. So that now has created that user. Let's just pop me over there. So if we go to users now, you'll see now that we've got the new user username. All right, and that's added our user. So we can use that account to log in, um, and then we can obviously, we can add a new admin account or adjust the details of that one. But the most important part of this is you've got to remove that bit of code once you've got access to your admin. Okay, so you need to go back to your file, you need to select that code, delete it, save that file and make sure that you've uh, saved those changes. Um, it's really important you don't leave that code in that file because um, it can be used again by anyone. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how you gain access to your uh, WordPress admin through FTP and the file system. Um, Nice and easy, nice and quick, and much, much quicker than the database option, really. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, hopefully that's that's helped you. Um, it's really nice to kind of see in the comments when you know one of the videos I've done has helped somebody, because it's, there's nothing more frustrating than having a problem you don't know how to fix it, and you spend hours and hours kind of trying different things, and you know you try something that doesn't work, and then sometimes along the way you break something else, and it's just really frustrating so it's nice to hear that you you know when you finally get to, to a, one of the videos you know it's it's helped you it's it's great to hear so you know please leave your comments um, and it'd be really good to hear you know what kind of videos you want to see from me going forward um, you know if you've got situations or issues you've had with WordPress before um, and you'd like to kind of see a video on that I'd be more than happy to kind of hear your, your suggestions and ideas. I really want to kind of start producing more videos now um, to, you know, just, just help people really. But it would be great to hear what, what your kind of pain points are or, or even if you just want to know about, you know, a particular plugin or you want some demonstration on something, um, you know, please leave the comments. I mean, I think I'm going to do some, some future videos around Elementor and stuff because I will use that predominantly to build websites. Um, we've done some stuff with Oxygen Builder as well, um, so we might be doing some videos with, with that as well. Um, but yeah, great to be back and um, look out for the next video.